Hello, and welcome to my lab. Previously, in Bauer's lab, we made a thing for the thing, so it can do the thing. We made other things that go in the thing, so it can do the thing for the other thing. Now, we are going to make another thing. Today, we're working on the color sensor for the Skittle sorter. Let's do that. So the sensor itself is this little board here I got from Adafruit. You can see if it'll focus. The uh, sensor is in the middle and then there's an LED over here so I don't have to worry about lighting. Then we just need uh, power and then uh, ground up top and their data connection is on the side there. That's pretty simple, so we'll just wire that up. This here I printed uh, just a simple test rig right here so we can uh, run Skittles through all the way down. And the color sensor just clips in right here. Right like that. With this setup, we'll be able to shove Skittles down this tube to test the sensor. Now I just need to hook up the sensor to a microcontroller. So I'll just use this Cat5 here and uh, take these pins out to, to a microcontroller. Here's what it looks like now that it's all soldered up. Let's uh, put it in. And done. Here's the final thing. Interesting note, the wires in a Cat5 cable fit quite conveniently into a PCB header. So that allows me to take that right into a microcontroller. All right, here we have the uh, sensor hooked up to the microcontroller. What the uh, microcontroller is doing right now is just continuously reading samples off of the color sensor. And we just have it so it's detecting the rising edge in color, and it sets the color that it sees to this LED here. So, there you have it. We ran 100 samples of each color past the sensor to see what data it gave us. When we were finished, we compiled that data into a helpful graph. Ah, and now that we have the data, we can figure out our final algorithm. I shall point you towards this chart here. And if you see the vertical axis here is the hue, and this horizontal axis is the brightness. Now the reason that we have this is that if you notice here, along the hue, if we only used hue, well, we'd, uh, we'd have an overlap here of the orange and the red. Now, that would not be appropriate because we could not tell an orange skittle from a red skittle. The brightness here gives us the ability to differentiate. You see how there's space here? Well, that tells us that we can definitely identify the difference between an orange skittle and a red skittle. So, if we take all of these little blobs of data and we draw a circle around them, we can uh, take the center point of that circle and call that, mm, well, we'll call it the green point here. Now, if we have a skittle that is located somewhere around here, it's going to be closest to the green point, and that means it's a green skittle. Now, if we turn around and uh, move to this point down here, if there's a point right along here, well, we'll just say that if it's closest to the orange center, then it's an orange skittle. And if it's closest to the red center, it's a red skittle. That basically concludes that. But an interesting point that we've discovered here is that purple skittles are not purple. They're colored purple here on our diagram, but if you'll notice their location on the hue, they're actually brown. Now this strikes me as rather odd because they taste purple, but they certainly do not look purple. When you look at them, they are indeed brown. Now, if you look, you will see that uh, upon further inspection, uh, you will notice that um, the observation can be made that, that there are <clears throat> no blue aspects to this chart. Uh, now, you would expect it to go up here much further, go blue, and, you know, cyan, and purple, and all of that, all of those up there. It's only using half of, of the hue circle. So, <clears throat> my conclusion is that that is um, 
the slogan for Skittles should not be taste the rainbow, but perhaps something more reasonable, uh, like taste half of the rainbow. Uh, then, then you know, advertisements would be more accurate with with reality, and <clears throat> I think uh, these the should no longer be called purple skittles uh, because, well, th quite frankly, they're, they're not purple; uh, they're brown, um, and so uh, no blue uh, dyes at all uh, are visible here, and uh, uh, perhaps that saves cost. But uh, you're no longer tasting the rainbow, and, and uh, that's quite a, quite a disappointment to me. To be honest. Now that we have the algorithm sorted out, we can have the microcontroller tell us what color each Skittle is as it passes in front of the sensor. We will use this information in the next step to control the Skittle diverter. Alright, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So now the Skittle color sensor here is working. Uh, next time, you should join us when we work on the diverter. And then once that's done, we'll be able to make the entire machine that sorts Skittles. Stop eating unsorted Skittles. Stop eating an unsorted life. Stop eating unsorted Skittles. Stop having an unsorted life.